it's amazing that we as being a people of God, we never will recognize that Satan can use anybody. Satan is no, is no respect to a person. Satan does not show favoritism, but we do. So we never think that our family member can be witches or warlock or practice obia or practice roots or practice hoodoo or voodoo. But this message, Lord to God, is for somebody. Your family member is a witch. Your family member is a warlock. Your family member practice hoodoo from Popeye's. Popeye's got hoodoo chicken. Hey, glory to God. So my assignment is, while we never recognize our family members are witches and warlock, while we never recognize our family members are witches and warlock, I'm going to tell you the reason why. And there are, ten, there are ten reasons because I'm not a person to debate. I read the reason because the Bible says, let's reason together. Though your skin, your sin be a scarlet, it should be whiter than snow. So I like to reason and tell you the 10 reasons why we never recognize our family members. He glory to God are witches and warlock. And I'm going to tell you the reason why, my friend. He glory to God. Because the Bible, my friend, the Bible that you're holding and I hold you, I hope you are going. You are looking at the scripture each time I tell you. Because if you will defeat the witch, I don't care if they're in your family. I don't care if they're on your job. I don't care. I don't care where they are. My friend, the God that you serve on the inside, God is not no statue. When I say God is not a statue, God is an invisible person he's an invisible being and the bible say look what the bible say the bible say in in first samuel the 15th chapter verse 23 hallelujah and the bible say for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is iniquity and idolatry because though has rejected the word of the lord he has also rejected thee from being king Hallelujah. What? For rebellion. What is rebellion? Rebellion is a people that are stubborn. People that go to God, do what they want to do. is a sin of witchcraft and stubborn. You know how people are stubborn. Stubborn of, is as iniquity as idolatry. So if you are stubborn, you are idolater. You worship idols of your thoughts. There's no more idols. Glory to God. People make up their own God. Because though I rejected the word of, of the Lord. Anytime your family member reject the word of God, they are witches and they are stubborn, idolatry. He, and the Bible says, he that also reject thee from being king. God reject them from being child of God. Amen. So why we never recognize our family members are being witches and warlock? I'm going to tell you the reason why. And there are 10 reasons. And I hope you take your notes. Hallelujah. And these are the 10 reasons we are too attached to them in feelings. Yes, we are too attached. We, we're too sensitive. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we are too sensitive. We are too attached to them. So we can see them of being a witch or warlock. Did I tell you, glory to God, in Galatians, hallelujah, in Galatians, the fifth chapter. Let's turn to Galatians, the fifth chapter. I, I want to show, I want to show you something, hey, glory to God, hallelujah. As I'm, I'm, I'm going through, glory to God, the word of God, I want to show you something that in the, in the book of Galatians, glory to God, the fifth chapter, hey, glory to God. And let's read verse number 20. And verse number 20 say, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, and heresy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So witchcraft is a part. Because the Bible says, listen to the Bible say. The Bible say, my friend, and glory to God. In verse, glory to God, number 19, it say, now the work of the flesh are manifested, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, 
interference, mutilation, wrath, strife, sedition, and heresy, envy, and murder, and drunkenness, reviling, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So these, these are these are why we recognize, why we never recognize our families, our witches, and warlock. I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Because we are too attached to them in feelings. Number two, we de we depend on our flesh too much and not in the spirit. The spirit is the word of God. The spirit I'm talking about is the Holy Ghost. Number three, we need to get out of the fantasy. Hallelujah, saying is not true. The Bible said, cast down a high imagination. Hallelujah. What? Cast down a high imagination and everything that exalts against the knowledge of God and bring into obedience to the word of God. Amen. Hey, glory to God. Amen. So get out of fantasy saying it's not true. My mama, my daddy, yes, they witch. Number four, we, we need to stick to facts and truth, which is the word of God. We need to, to get out of fable. Number five, we need to get out of fables and face reality. And then, and glory to God. And number six, we need to focus on God's word and stop wondering off why your family going to hell. What? Let me read again slowly. We need to focus on God's word and stop wandering off while your family member going to hell. And number eight reason. We need to face the truth. Yeah, the truth. The truth. What is the truth? The word of God. The truth is they are witch. And stop shunning from mother is a witch and daddy is a warlock. Hallelujah. Oh, but, you, but I can't believe it. You better believe it. Hey, glory to God. Number nine, we need to stop figuring it out. Carnality and figure it spirituality. What? We need to stop figuring out carnality. Stop using our fable mind. Number 10. Stop saying it's my favorite family member. So why Satan has no favorite, he uses any one that is stubborn and rebellious. I read a scripture. I read first first Samuel 15, 23. That Satan is no respecter of person, but we are. So I'm telling you. Why we never recognize our family, our witches, and warlock. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, oh God, bless this person right now. Let them recognize that their family member, if they are not saved, Oh God, they in a they in a form of sorcery. Let them know right now, Jesus. Let them stop being so attached to flesh and focus on the spirit. Focus on saving their family through the word of God. Oh God, let this person know the difference and let them stop being deceived. But let them deliver them through the word of the God of the seed that they plant. Oh God, let us stop being attached. How glory to God, Samuel was attached to Saul, and God re re rebuke Saul, and God told Samuel, "How long are you gonna cry, seeing that I rejected Saul from being king?" Oh God, let us focus on the soul and stop focus on self. Oh God, help us. Oh God, help our family. Help our mother, help our father, help our sisters, help our brothers, help our cousins right now. Oh God, let us stop seeing them as being our favorites. But let them see that they have a soul, that they're going to hell. But we got the word, we got the seed, the plant. And somebody come by and water it. Oh God. You say the soul went forth to sow a seed, and some fell on this ground and that ground, but some fell on the good ground. And then 
and went to God. They 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 they, they reaped thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. And some fell on the stone, which the devil, the bird, comes and pluck it up. Go bye bye. And some fell on, go to God, the throne, which the care of this world choked the word. Oh God, bless this person right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Oh God, let them know that they is their mother and their mother got a soul. Let them know their father. And their father got a soul. Let them know their sister. Their sister got a soul. Let them know their brother. And their brother got a soul. And their cousins, oh God, bless us right now to know the truth. To know the truth. Because the truth will make us free. Oh God, it's no time for tricks and tricks, but it's time for the truth. Bless right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Don't forget to subscribe to my video. And don't forget to put a notification bar saying every time the man of God brings forth the word of God, you be the first to hear the enchanted word to save your soul. Bless right now. Bless this person right now in Jesus' name.